Morning guys, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Thanks for watching the vlog here. I want to tell you a little bit about what we've got going on today. Right here behind me and beside me, there's an area that I need to address. Um, the driveway needs to be widened a little bit. So we've got a load of gravel coming up. We're going to get that dumped out. We're going to take the tractor, spread it out, and basically add one more lane into our road here. So when we add that lane on our road, It'll provide us the opportunity to park a little bit better and get big trailers in and out of the driveway. So check it out. That's kind of what's going on today on the farm. Woo! So a sad thing has happened here on the farm I wanted to tell you guys about. We lost a baby chick last night. Kind of a bummer. Uh, you know, it's kind of expected that you'll lose a baby chick once in a while if you order chicks. Or if you just go to like your local tractor supply or whatever your local feed store is. It's an expected thing. We got 26 babies. They sent us one extra. So we had 27 and we lost one today. I would expect to probably lose one or two more. Just kind of par for the course. Baby chicks are really sensitive. There's not a lot I could have done about it. I wish it was something I could have done about it, but you know, nature takes its course sometimes, guys. And a lot of times these hatchery chicks aren't quite as resilient as the chicks that would hatch under the mom. They don't have the uh, antibodies, it seems, that the chicks would have hatching from their moms. I'll have to look up and find a little more information on that, but even my neighbors who have been farming for years, they always said, you know, a chick that's hatched under a mom will do much better and be a much stronger chick than a chick that is hatched from an incubator. They just have more intuition than a chick that is hatched from an incubator. A hatchery chick uh, seems to not have as much intuition, I guess, or uh, what's the word I'm looking for? In nature you sit under the mom they hear the mother they they get a little social interaction in the egg that's my theory here okay and they do better so what we've got here is our chicks they're from a hatchery and if you haven't seen them yet check out the vlog from a few days ago I introduced the baby chicks we went to uh, the uh, post office and picked them up so we've got to make sure that they have food and water all the time the right temperature, the right humidity, and then we let nature take its course. In case you're new to the vlog and you haven't seen the baby chicks yet, I'm going to go in here and show you. They're, uh, we've had them for two days now, and they've been through about a half a gallon of water, and they still haven't eaten a whole lot of food, but they'll start gobbling food down pretty soon. Guys, we've got the chicks in the garage here. I'll show you. Hey, buddy birds. Hey, little birds. They all seem to be doing very well. Hey birdies. So we provide them a warm environment with good airflow, air circulation, so they can have plenty of oxygen, plenty of food, and we basically let nature take its course and raise our babies. We have uh, 11 white leghorns, which are prolific layers. They lay 365 eggs a year, which is awesome. And we have uh, some meat birds, some Cornish cross birds, and we got these from Meyer Hatchery in Ohio. Also, don't forget to watch the video right here of getting the baby chicks. It'll be right here, okay? Uh, it's basically a video of what to expect when you order chicks from a hatchery. Pretty cool. So we're waiting on the dump truck guy right now. He should be here soon. In the meantime, we got to check all the animals, make sure they've got food and water. So guys, this is real farming, okay? This is really what's going on on the farm here, trying to get things up and running, get things going. This is our baby chick. Unfortunately, our baby chick didn't make it. It's okay. Guys, life and death on the farm is okay. I know you're like, oh, ooh. I mean, some people are really cringing because something died and they had a chicken sandwich yesterday. Guys, these are animals that you're eating if you're a vegetarian, those aren't animals, just so you know. But these are animals that you're eating. So next time when you go out to dinner and you throw away half your chicken sandwich, I want you to think about that little baby chick, okay? Think about it. Don't throw food away. Don't waste, okay, guys? There's an animal behind every piece of meat you eat. 
and it's so sad for you to throw it away. It's just so wasteful. I watch people do it all the time. It's horrible. Don't throw food away, okay? Find a way to use it. So we gotta fill up some water buckets to water the goats this morning. Can't be lazy on the farm, guys. You gotta get up, get up early in the morning, take care of business, okay? You got people depending on you, like these guys, right? Hey, goats. Go to goats. <laughs> and the pig. <laughs> what is that thing? All right, let's ride on down and check on the chickens. Everybody's good, the chickens are good, the goats are good, and our dump truck guy is coming up the driveway. So what we do from here is we talk to Chad, the dump truck driver, and we tell him what we want. So Chad will get in position right here. We're using road-based gravel, which is called crush run or road base that helps to build a good base and then we'll layer it up with uh, number 57 rock after about a year So he did a great job guys, I'm really happy with this. Next thing we gotta do is put a good pile right here so that I can make the circle in the driveway a little less tight so I can drag a trailer around there without getting in the yard. Awesome guys, we're gonna have a cool driveway now. Perfect. So now I gotta get on the tractor work this gravel in, smooth it all out, and get it the way I want it. Basically our goal here is to spread this out, make a nice circle in the driveway so I can drive a trailer all the way around, and I'll show you how all that's done, okay? We use the bucket on the tractor to move the gravel, and we use the blade to drag the gravel where we want it. Check it out. So guys, that's how it's done. Spread, smooth, nice, awesome. We got the driveway, one lane wider, and a much bigger spot to turn around right here. So, rad. Good farm stuff, baby.
talk right, I'm looking at a kiss and nearly every night. I dream about a belly and I live this right. Talk to her with love for the times I have. I'm my brothers and my sisters and my 